I'm a chef and I'm a member of RCCG, the Oasis, and I'm also a proud member of New Gen. Okay, so um, someone by the name Ademola Olabinjo called me someday and said there's a group of people coming together, you know, young worshippers to, you know, form a group sort of. And I'm like, oh, okay, no problem. And he said they were going to call you, that they were going to call me rather. I said, okay, no problem. So he just explained to me what the group entails and uh, we'll be going for a retreat. And that was how I became a part of New Gen. Okay, so I mean, there's no particular way the song comes. Sometimes it comes while we're praying. Sometimes people sit down to write songs, and yeah, just I'm so sure of those two ways: people sitting down to write songs, and sometimes while praying or while studying. Ah, man, it's it's so it's such an awesome experience being with New Gen, and um, spiritually it has really helped me because I look forward to the retreats we have as if you are every year. I mean, it's it's always a good time going to if you are. My spiritual life has improved. I mean, I can really say that I've improved spiritually and career-wise. You know, New Gen has given me a job before, so. <laughs> That makes it all good. Next five years, hi. Trust me, it's some. Um, it's beyond. It's beyond my reasoning. So I can't really say. I can't really say because what God is set to do, eyes haven't seen, neither has ears heard what is set to do with us. So I can't categorically say this is where I see New Gen in the next five years because because of what God is going to do with us. Ah, favorite new gen song. We've not done it. We've not written it safe. Oh, new gen songs, trust me, are so, so, so... They empower the spirit. And then, there's a particular song, My Redeemer. There was a time I, I felt let me say rejected anyways but I, I wasn't just myself at that period and I just remember that oh God gave us a song and then I went back to our archive and I played my Redeemer and that was just that was just a turning point for me it helped me you know yes that's just my experience with my Redeemer Okay, so for Orami Pada, um, someone sent me a testimony someday that she was praying at, I think, at Jegunle, and they brought a dead man, and she played Orami Pada, and to God be the glory, the dead man came back to life. So.